Hey guys, Kevin here from Snowboard Pro Camp. In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 beginner snowboard hacks. A hack is basically an easy solution to a common problem. And when I was learning to snowboard, I ran into all these problems and learning all these little uh, solutions along the way really helped me to make my day on the mountain run a lot smoother. A problem that you may run into is breaking a strap on your bindings. And this isn't that big of a problem if you break your toe strap because you can still ride and get down to the bottom. But if you break your heel strap, you can't really ride without a heel strap because your foot starts to come out of the binding. An easy solution if you do break your heel strap is to actually replace it with your toe strap. Then you can at least ride out to the bottom of the run and get your heel strap properly replaced. Something to help keep your hands warm on the mountain while using your phone is to get touchscreen gloves. Touchscreen gloves allow you to use your phone to send text messages or change the music without having to take your gloves all the way off. I picked up this pair of touchscreen gloves for $5. A hack for if you are doing any filming on the mountain is to actually film with your camera upside down. This weight will help to balance your camera and help you to get a smoother shot. The next hack is to keep some snacks in your pocket. So I've got some dates and a cliff bar. Now I don't have to miss any runs because I had to go inside for lunch. One of the most difficult things when you're just learning to snowboard is riding the chair. It can be hard enough getting onto the chair, but then once you're all on it, you've got this big snowboard hanging off of one foot for the first time. And an easy solution is to rest the other half of your snowboard onto your free foot. This can alleviate some of that pressure and just make the chairlift ride a lot more comfortable. The next hack is another one that'll save you time on the mountain. So if you get to the chairlift and there's a big line, hop into the singles line. I always find that when I'm in the singles, it moves a lot faster than the regular lineup. If you're riding with friends and you don't mind riding the chair without them, split up, go in the singles line, and you'll get back to the top of the run a lot faster. The next hack will save you time at lunch. So if you ever try to go in for lunch between 11.30 and 1, that is the busiest time. Go in before or after, and you can get in and out of lunch quick and back on the runs. If you're into filming on the mountain with the GoPro or your phone, one of the biggest problems is battery life. The cold just sucks the battery life out of your phone or GoPro. A quick solution that I found is to buy one or two hand warmers and stick those into your pocket with your batteries and that'll extend the battery life a lot longer and save you from running out of batteries early in the day. An annoying problem for beginner snowboarders is trying to get your bindings done up and something that can make it really difficult is when there's lots of snow packed in to the base of your binding. So make sure that you go in there, scrape out all the snow every time you do up your bindings and that'll stop ice from building up and it'll make it a lot easier to strap up your board. Another problem for beginner snowboarders is having to sit in the snow to strap up your bindings. An easy solution is to dig yourself a ledge in the snow with your heels then you can stand up and strap up your board without having to sit into the snow. This might take a little bit to get used to, but once you do, it'll save you a lot of time and it'll also save you from sitting in the snow. Awesome guys, so I hope you found these 10 beginner snowboard hacks helpful. If you have any hacks or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Have fun out there riding guys and I'll see you in the next video.